Welcome to Finance with Avery. In this video, I want to give you an overview and review of the Marcus by Goldman Sachs online savings account. Now we're going to go over some of the features, the fees or lack thereof, the APY, so that's interest rate. We're going to really get into it here. Starting out with that APY, because that's one of the key factors and reasons why people are attracted to these online savings accounts is that they offer higher APYs than traditional banks. And amongst themselves, there are different financial institutions and banks that offer high APYs and they're not all the same. They're variable, so they're subject to change, and they do change often. Lately, for the past year or so, they've been on the trajectory of going up because the federal funds rate has been going up. And I also do videos on the top 10 online savings accounts ranked by APY annual percentage yield every other month or so. Check out the link in the description for that. But let's get into more about this markets by Goldman Sachs right here. Their APY on this account is 4.30%. Now, let me tell you about how the interest is compounded and everything on this APY, and also how you can get higher than 4.30% with this account right here. So, yeah, 4 4.30% APY, and that is, they say, eight times the national average. Now, the national average of an online savings account APY is 0.42%. <laughs> I, could, I'm a, I can't even say that without laughing. Yeah, 0.42%. And then, then it states that most high yield savings accounts offer 1% APY or higher we're higher than that. Like, like, like I say, on the videos I do every other month, I think the lowest right now is around 4.5. The rest is, is way higher than 1%. Yeah, there are online high yield savings accounts that offer 1%, 2%, anything like that. No, let, you got to get higher than that. If you're not getting at least 4% on your APY of your savings account, definitely check out my videos. Maybe this maybe this account I'm talking about in this video is for you. Just, I mean, it's not financial advice. I'm just, when I hear people say like, yeah, well, I'm like, what's the APY on your, you know, on your savings account? They're like 0.01 or Oh, I don't know, 0.5, and I'm just like, oh. Okay, but anyways, with the interest, there is no minimum deposit required to earn whatever APY they have, which is currently 4.30%. So you don't have to have a certain amount in your account to obtain that high APY, and you don't have like different tiers or ranges because some online savings accounts with different financial institutions, they have like tiers basically. So if you have between this amount and this amount, you get this APY. If you got over this amount, you get this APY, not with this account. And they also state that we only pay interest in whole cents and any fractional interest will be carried over to the following month. And with this account, interest is compounded daily and credited to to your account monthly. And interest is calculated using the daily balance method. And this method applies a daily periodic rate to the principal and interest that has accrued in the account each day. This means that the interest from your account is calculated every day on a 365 day year, 366 day calendar year and leap year for accounts that were open and funded before that leap year or new accounts open and funded before March 1st during that leap year. So some accounts, they compound interest monthly and they pay out monthly or they pay out quarterly. And they do this. A lot of accounts, they do compound daily and pay out monthly. And it's kind of like an average, I think, of most online high yield savings accounts that they do that. And Marcus by Goldman Sachs is one of those accounts. And I'm going to show you an example of interest in this account and how basically it would look if you have a certain amount in this account in the calculator here. So let's say, for instance, you have $25,000 in this savings account earning 4.30% compounded daily. Now, let's just say for purposes of this just simple kind of calculation that you don't add anything to this account monthly. So, of course, if you add to it monthly, it's going to increase the amount and increase the amount of interest that is going to be calculated on the account because there's more principal to earn interest on. However, I want to show you because you're going to earn interest on the interest that you accrue. So yeah, $25,000, we'll say for five years, earning 4.30%. After five years, your account balance would be $30,857.56. Yeah. So we look at that. So you see the increase in interest each year. You're not earning the same amount of interest that you're going to get in that first year and that second year because you're earning interest on top of the interest that you have in your account. And that just doesn't happen yearly. That happens monthly. So it breaks down to where you get the interest on your account each month so that next month when you earn interest on your account, you're earning more interest because you're earning interest on top of that principal that you have, the amount you know you have in your account initially, and also the interest that was added to your account that previous month. So yeah, and that goes by each month and you see it increased by the year as well. So yeah, it's great because these accounts, these high yield accounts, you can really take advantage of these high yields and just earn, let your money work for you and earn more money. So yeah, that's just a simple calculation right there. And you can change the amount, you know, and see, let's say you had $10,000 right here earning that same 4.30% uh, after five years, it's gonna be around $12,343.02. You know, you could just change the years of how much you're saving towards anything, you know, just to see that increase of that interest, you know, more years, 
more compounding interest, more interest accruing, and you're gonna have more money in the account. So this is a quick scenario just jumped in my head. Like how, how long would it take to double your account, your amount in your account? So if you had ten thousand dollars for an example in this account earning four point thirty percent, now the APY is subject to change, it's variable, so it's not this is saying it's gonna stay the same this whole time. Now that's definitely probably not gonna be the case. These APYs have been changing every month pretty much almost every other month for these accounts so in the years to come who knows where these APYs going to be they're going to maybe lower during some times and higher during some times but I just want to show you for an example of the calculation that that 4.30 percent what it would do so if it stayed at 4.30 percent for somehow for 17 years basically your account balance would double and that's with not adding any additional money to it from your you know paycheck or side hustle or anything like that that's just saying if this account just had ten thousand dollars in it and that was it in the principal and you just let interest accrue and compound all interest in that principal and that amount and everything then after 17 years that ten thousand dollars would turn into around twenty thousand four hundred fifty six dollars and fifty nine cents so yeah interest is awesome earning interest is awesome high apys are awesome so yeah let's get back to this account here and they state with the interest in general interest begins to accrue on the business day that we receive your deposit for ach transfers which stands for automated clearinghouse that's when you transfer money from bank to bank or credit union to bank and vice versa and things like that so for ach transfers that you initiate from your account through us interest begins to accrue on the business day you initiated the transfer if completed before 6 p.m eastern time otherwise interest will begin to accrue the next business day if the account is closed before interest is credited accrued interest will be paid through the last full day before the day the account is closed we may at our discretion at any time change the interest rate and the apy the rate at which interest may be paid on the principal balance of this online savings account and the corresponding APY at which the online savings account could earn interest each year if all interest paid on the online savings account remains in the account can be found on our website, which may be modified by us from time to time in our sole discretion. So we're just stating like, basically when you're going to start accruing interest on your account depending on when the funds are in your account if it's in there by a certain time during the day if not it's going to be that next day business day basically and then also just to reiterate that that apy that's stated on the account is variable subject to change so you know this could change tomorrow it could change next month by the time you see this video or whenever you're watching it you know after it's released the apy could definitely be different one thing with this online savings account is that there is a mobile app and it's on the apple app store and the google play app store very convenient right there to have a mobile app with your bank account so you can just open it up and see your account balance see the interest and everything so you'll see a nice you know layout with that right there very nice sleek looking app right here for marcus by goldman and also they have an interest calculator on their website if you just want to you know input some numbers and see what the different amounts would be you know for marcus by goldman or compare them to the national average or other banks you see those apys bank of america 0.04 chase 0.02 Citibank 0.12 wells fargo 0.15 so they're just really you know putting in some other competitors which are competitors to their accounts and you know everything and there's on the lower end for sure that like i stated there are online savings accounts that have apys around where marcus is offering and higher than what they're offering so it really just depends on for me personally i don't just chase apy I just put my money wherever the highest is at there has to be other things about the account and the app and different things like that that i like for the account and the financial institution or bank for me to select an account basically so so for example on this account right here if you had twenty thousand dollars with no reoccurring deposits right there so you saved for three years that twenty thousand dollars is going to be around two thousand six hundred and ninety three dollars in interest right there so that's how much interest you would earn so but if you add a reoccurring deposit of a hundred dollars a month in this online savings account well that interest you earn is going to be higher than that two thousand six hundred it's going to be two thousand nine hundred and twenty four dollars right there so because you have more money to earn interest on so that is a nice example right there and you can just you know put in different numbers and everything if you want to check that out so that's on their website and of course for tax reporting it states that federal law requires us to report the interest you've earned for a joint account interest earned will be reported under the social security number or the individual taxpayer identification number for the primary owner and now in this section i want to tell you about how you can earn an even higher apy on this marcus by goldman sachs account right here so yeah you can earn an additional one percent apy on this account and that is through referral so right now the apy is 4.30 percent if you had a referral bonus on this you would get 5.30 percent apy for three months so these referral bonuses last for three months right here and it's at one percent apy added on to whatever the apy is is for this account so like i stated right now it's 4.30 percent so if, like next month if it's 4.50 percent and you have a referral bonus of one percent well your total apy you're going to have is going to be 5.50 percent because it's going to be that 4.50 percent plus that one percent additional boost right there for that three months so yeah let me show you and tell you 
how this works right here with this account. So with this referral bonus, not only would you get that 1% boost, but your friend who you referred to Marcus would get that additional 1% boost as well for three months. So it's a win-win for both right there. And then how it works basically with this boost is real easy. So for example, let's state that I already had an account with Marcus by Goldman Sachs. To refer a friend, I would have a unique referral link that I would send to a friend, you know, whether it be via text or, you know, messenger or something like that. You can get there, you can get your referral link within your account online right there. So you'll have that referral link. You can copy it and, you know, paste it somewhere, send it, however you want to do that right there. So you send that unique referral link to a friend who has not owned the Marcus online savings account or CD certificate of deposit in the last 12 months. So they could have had a Marcus by Goldman online savings account like a couple years ago or something like that and closed it, but they would still be referred to as a new customer in this sense. But if they had an account within the past 12 months and closed it, you know, six months ago, three months ago, however, something like that, then they would not be eligible for this boost. You would not be eligible to give them this boost and they wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't receive the boost. So you can refer them still, of course, to this account, but neither one of you would receive the boost. So it has to be someone who has not owned a Marcus by Goldman online savings account or CD certificate of deposit in the past 12 months. So step two, the friend opens an account and earns the bonus. So the referred friend can earn that 1% APY boost for three months when they use the unique referral link to open their online savings account. So you have to make sure they open that account with your link. It's just basically a link that's going to land them on the page to start the process of opening the account, which only takes a few minutes right there. And I'll tell you about what information that you need to open this account in the eligibility section of the video. And then on number three right here, it states that the customer who referred earns the bonus too. So Marcus customers will also receive the 1% APY bonus for three months when their friend opens an online savings account or CD certificate of deposit right here. And with this bonus, it's not capped at one time use right here. You can refer as many friends as you want at any time and you can earn up to five rate bonuses in a calendar year. So yeah, you can like, so for example, if you refer two friends in the same week, no, you wouldn't get 2% APY, you know, for three months or anything like that. You would get the 1% APY add it onto your APY for three months. And then when that three months was over, you would have basically a stacked 1% APY ready for you that would be pretty much going into your account automatically. So you can stack these pretty much referral bonuses. And then once that three months is up and that 1%, you know, referral bonus drops off within well, that other referral bonus that you've already gotten, that 1% would add onto your account. So it'd be back to that APY basically. So yeah, for each successful referral, you'll earn a rate bonus for another three months right there. So yeah, you can stack these and get up to five of them in a calendar year right there. And so that three months, it'll pretty much carry over because you got, you know, 12 months in a year. So that three months, that's going to be like four times right there in a year, but it's going to carry over basically. So you can earn up to five in a year, basically. And also with that new friend that you referred, the referral bonus earned by the new customer will not count towards the maximum referral bonuses they can earn by referring other new customers once they've become an existing Marcus customer. So that person that you referred to the account that you both got the 1% bonus, that counts towards your maximum that you can earn right there for the referrals, but it doesn't count towards theirs. So they're starting at zero right there for their referrals. And as far as activating the referral bonus, you don't have to do anything. You know, once everything goes through and is you know, successful with the referral, that referral bonus will automatically start on your online savings account two business days after the successful referral of the new customer. If you're already receiving a referral bonus and you make another successful referral, your next referral bonus will begin on the day your current referral bonus expires, which is subject to the referral bonuses maximum of five referral bonuses earned in each calendar year. Only one referral bonus may be applied to your online savings account at any time. And as far as checking on the status of your referral bonuses, you can see the status of all your earned referral bonuses and the Marcus Referral Center at any time in the referrals history section, which will show you when your referral bonuses were earned, when they will be applied to your online savings account, and when they will expire. And your referral link is going to be accessible in the Marcus Referral Center. So within your account, when you log on, there's a certain section where you'll be able to copy that link and send it out and everything. And with the referral bonuses, I know it mentioned that you can, you know, your friend can open up an online savings account or a CD. However, if they open a CD, you know, or a no penalty CD, any kind of CD with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, you will receive the referral bonus on your online savings account, but your friend, they will not earn the referral bonus on their CD. So yeah, you can still refer people to Marcus by Goldman, either the online savings account or the CD. If they open an online savings account, then both of you will get the referral bonus of that 1% APY. However, if they open up a CD, then you will still get your referral bonus of that 1% APY, but they wouldn't be getting that 1% APY boost on their CD. So it's just something to keep in mind right there. If you refer somebody and they're like, hey, I never got my boost. It's like, oh, what kind of account did you open? I opened a CD. Ah, that's why. If you open an online savings account, then you get that 1% boost right there.
And with this referral bonus right here, they stated that Marcus referred rates may only be combined with other non-referral promotion offers available to Marcus customers. Now, also any other Marcus by Goldman Sachs referral programs will be treated as a separate referral program with separate terms, offer period and or benefits. And in case you're wondering like if, oh, if I add a joint owner to my account, was that count as a referral bonus? That will not count right there. Adding a joint owner to an existing online savings account will not count as a successful referral. But speaking of jointly owned accounts right here, jointly owned online savings account may receive a ref Marcus referred rate through the successful referral of any account owner, but individual Marcus referred rate maximum still apply. And if any joint owner of a jointly owned online savings account is currently receiving a Marcus referred rate when a new jointly owned online savings account is open, that jointly owned online savings account will receive a Marcus referred rate through the latest expiration date of an active Marcus referred rate associated with any one joint owner under the terms and condition of that promotional rate. Subsequent Marcus referred rates earned by any joint owner will result in an accrual of an additional three month Marcus referred rates, each to be applied consecutively. The successful referral of any one owner on a joint owned online savings account will only be applied towards that owner's individual Marcus rate maximum. So just some information right there in case you had a joint owner and they're referring people and you're referring people. So, so you're still going to have that referred rate maximum and everything right there. And also adding a joint owner on your account won't count as a referral. So you won't get a boost that way. And currently right now, there is no expiration date on this promotion going on. I was looking all over the website and elsewhere to try to find some kind of expiration date because usually a lot of times with these, because sometimes with these promotions, they'll have, you know, this is good until the end of the year or good until this month or whatnot. But it is not, you know, there's no kind of expiration date or good until this term right here with this. They could definitely add that at any time. This isn't saying this referral, you know, promotion is going to go on forever. They eventually they'll probably add some, you know, expiration date or maybe even change the referral maybe to, you know, 0.50% APY boost or 1.5% boost. Who knows? They, they could change that as well. But as of right now, there's no offer expiration date or anything on this. So yeah, that is the amount right there. Currently, I'm recording this video on August 21st, 2023. So that is the current APY 4.30% and the current referral bonus of 1% right there. And that will be 5.30% for three months right there for a successful referral. So yeah, that is it right there on that section right here for the referral bonus. So let's go over some other key factors and features of this online saves account. Of course, we talked about that high APY right there. It is a high yield account, so it has that 4.30% APY, which is nice. And it is, and this account is backed by the financial expertise of Goldman Sachs. And we're going to get more into who are Goldman Sachs towards the end of the video about, you know, I'm going to have an about us section for Goldman Sachs and tell you about them. And that bank is, is a major banking institution. So it's a good chance you've heard of Goldman Sachs right here. Marcus by Goldman Sachs is a product of Goldman Sachs, basically. So yeah, you may not have heard of Marcus by Goldman Sachs or maybe not as much as Goldman Sachs in general, but yeah. So this is backed by Goldman Sachs and there are no fees and no minimum deposit for this account right here. So you don't have to have a certain minimum amount when you initiate this account or anything to have this account set up and there's no monthly maintenance fees or anything like that. And it has same day transfers of $100,000 or less to and from other banks. And we're going to talk more about limits and things like that in the limits and fees section. And they have a contact center available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So they have customer service right there available through that contact center 24 hours a day and seven days a week. So that's nice. And of course, with the mobile app, you can schedule transfers into and out of your accounts, review recent transactions and track your transfers, see how much interest you've earned, and also use Marcus Insights tools and trackers to help you see your money clearly and make strategic decisions. So this account does have saving features and saving tools and things like that that can help you know motivate you and help, help keep you on track and organize you with your savings account. So that is one thing that's really neat about some savings accounts is when they have tools like that. It's good to not just have like a bland account of just like, like, oh yeah, you can put money here and put money out, transfer money out or anything like that. Like, no, that's, that's not it. You can also have these tools and insights right here that can help, you know, grow that savings and get towards certain goals you want. So that is good right there. And that's within the app. And like I stated before earlier, it doesn't take long to open this account. And we're going to get into what's needed to open the account in the eligibility section. And yeah, timestamps are below in the description and everything. You'll see the chapters laid out real organized right there. And you can link accounts and add money. You can link your checking or savings account at other banks and transfer money into your market savings account. Very easy, very smooth right there. And you'll start earning interest the day your transfer is initiated. And we talked about the interest, you know, cutoff times and everything like that earlier in that part of the video. And transferring money back to your checking account is easy. They stated same day transfers are available and you can schedule transfers online in the Marcus app or by phone. And so with that customer service, 
service. I was standing right here. Of course, you got the frequently asked questions section. Of course, sometimes that can answer questions that people have. And there's they have various different sections like that with that frequently asked questions section right there. And they also have a chat feature. So for savings questions, Marcus customers can log in to access chat 24 hours a day, seven days a week from the dashboard. You just select the account you have questions about and then click on chat. That's available on the web only. So you will only be able to do that on a desktop version of their website. That's not available in the app right there. Well, however, they also have where you can call them. So you can call them with their customer service and have help with your account 24 hours a day, seven days a week at that number right there, that one 855 730 7283. They have 24 7 customer service available via the phone right there and on the chat online on the desktop web version of the site. And so, yes, with the features of the account right there, you got a lot of basic features and some features that aren't in other accounts and features that you want typically to have in a savings account. So, you got that 24 7 customer support, you got the no monthly maintenance fees, no minimum account balance, you got the interest that's compounding daily. And also, the last thing I want to mention, but not the least important thing. Thing I want to mention definitely important this account is FDIC insured so it does have that federal deposit insurance corporation backing behind it and the FDIC is an independent agency created by Congress to maintain stability and public confidence in the nation's financial system and the FDIC insures deposits examines and supervises financial institutions for safety soundness and consumer protections makes large and complex financial institutions resolvable and manages receiverships so this FDIC insurance will We'll cover your account balance right there up to $250,000 is the typical that you'll find in savings accounts and CDs. Some financial institutions you'll see, you know, cover 2 million or 3 million. They do that by spreading your deposits around to other banks known as program banks. But with the Marcus by Goldman Sachs account right here, up to $250,000 will be covered under the FDIC insurance. So if something happened to Goldman Sachs, you know, unheard of, you know, or something like they went under or bankrupt, I don't know, something, you know, catastrophic, basically your deposits in your account, your cash in your account, your money in your account would be protected to that typical amount that $250,000. So yes, this account is definitely FDIC insured and has that backing behind it. And now to the deposits and withdrawals and limits and fees section. I'm going to put this together because some of the limits have, you know, connections, of course, with the withdrawals and deposits. So instead of just kind of saying the same thing twice, I'm almost going to put it all together in this section of the video right here. So starting with deposits, how can I fund my account or make deposits? There are multiple ways you can do this right here. As you see on the screen. I'm going to tell you about it. You can transfer funds from a linked external bank account. So Marcus will process transfers of a million dollars or less made through Marcus by 12 p.m. Eastern time on a business day by 5 p.m. Eastern time that day. For outgoing transfers, check with your external bank regarding availability of funds sent by Marcus. So that's what other bank account that you're dealing with to have that transfer. And so for incoming transfers, you'll start earning interest on the transfer amount the day your request is received. All transfers are subject to conditions that may delay funds, such as transfers made in connection with an account closing. So that's one way you can deposit funds into this account is by transferring funds, you know, linking that external bank account, whether it be another checking account or savings account and just transferring funds that way. You can transfer, you know, via back and forth, you know, from Marcus to that account and from that account to Marcus. So that's one way to get funds in this account right here. And as far as same day transfers, Marcus will process ACH transfers of $1 million or less made through Marcus by 12 p.m. Eastern time on a business day or by 5 p.m. Eastern time that day. For outgoing transfers, check with your external bank regarding availability of funds sent by Marcus. For incoming transfers, you'll start earning interest on the transfer amount the day your request is received. All transfers are subject to the conditions that may delay funds such as transfers made in connection with an account closing. And for the availability of the ACS transfers, you know, from an external bank, it states that funds received by ACH transfer initiated through Marcus from a linked external account, including other accounts you may own with us, will generally be available five business days after you initiate the ACH transfer, but may be available earlier. And it states that funds received by ACH transfer initiated from an external account to your account will generally be available on the business day we receive the deposit. And for internal transfers, let's say you have a CD account with Marcus by Goldman and this savings account. It states that when you transfer funds between your savings account and CD account, the funds will be available immediately. And another way you can deposit funds into this account is via direct deposit. And so for a direct deposit, you're going to have that routing number and the account number. So you'll have that with this online savings account and you can go to your employer, you know, however you do with your employer, you know, some, you know, employers basically have like an intranet or some kind of system where you can you know, update, you know, things like your 
you know, tax withdrawals and different things like that. And you have you have your payroll, your direct deposit. So you can insert so you can insert that information, your routing number and your account number and, you know, how much you want to deposit into the account, whether it be the whole check or half of the check or a certain amount. It's like typically how, you know, most a lot of employers have it where you can organize your funds that way when you get paid. So you can do that with the Marcus by Goldman Sachs account right here. You can fund it via direct deposit. You know, so here it is right here as well. What I just stated, but on the website it says to authorize the deposit of funds directly directly into your Marcus account. Provide your employer with your Marcus account number and the Goldman Sachs Bank USA routing number for your type of account. And they have that online savings account routing number right there. So there's the routing number. And of course, your account number is going to be specific to your account. And another way you can deposit funds into this account is sending a check by US mail. And they have more instructions and everything on the website. And there's the address as well of where to mail the check to. They do not accept cash. So this is definitely for a check. Do not send cash to this address definitely don't do that it has to be a check and we'll get more information of what kind of checks you can deposit right here and they have instructions on the website so here are the kind of checks that you can deposit right here so checks for deposit must be payable to you or to Goldman Sachs Bank USA endorse the back of the check with your signature and for deposit only at Goldman Sachs Bank USA and include your correct account number on the back as well and also states that be sure the check you deposit includes both a courtesy amount and a legal amount the courtesy amount is a numerical dollar amount for example $100 and the legal amount is the same amount spelled out in words for example $100 as you see on the screen right there you got the number and you have the words for the amount right there and so those amounts must match so that's definitely important as well and it states you may not deposit the following type of items so these following items cannot be sent to the address to deposit as a check here's the list right here so i'll go over it just state them money orders third party checks which are checks made payable to someone other than you starter checks temporary checks double endorsed checks checks with more than one endorsement exceptions may apply at a branch and then also checks older than six months are not accepted, as well as post dated checks, foreign checks, incomplete checks, traveler's checks, counter checks, checks with restrictive legends, for example, void after 180 days and other items that we may from time to time in our sole discretion determine not to accept. So they have a list of checks right there and related type of checks that are not accepted and also speaking of depositing checks at this time the markets by goldman sachs savings accounts only accept checks via u.s mail they do not have mobile check deposits so that is a feature right now as of this time that is not available with this account which is a really convenient neat feature with other financial accounts and financial institutions and banks that i've used that's very convenient you know you just take a picture of the front and the back of the check after endorsing it and boom you know pretty much start the process of depositing the check in your account you could do that at any time with other accounts right there but however this feature is not available currently with the markets by goldman sachs savings account so i do want to mention that yes you can send in a physical check if it meets those requirements as i stated earlier but however, you cannot deposit a check via the mobile app or online. There is no mobile check deposit available on this account currently. And for availability of check deposits, it has some stipulations, some amounts with this one right here for special checks, U.S. Treasury checks or other government checks, certified teller or cashier's checks. It says up to $5,525 will be available the next business day after the day of the deposit and the remainder on the sixth business day after the day of the deposit, unless an exception applies. And for other check deposits, it states for checks other than special checks up to $225 will be available the next business day after the day of the deposit and up to $5,525 will be available the second business day after the day of the deposit unless an exception applies. Any remaining funds will generally be available on the sixth business day after the day of the deposit. And of course, it has exceptions right here. Funds you deposit by check may be delayed for a longer period. If you are a new customer, you deposit a single check or multiple checks totaling more than $5,525 on any one day. You redeposit a check that has been returned unpaid. Your account is repeatedly overdrawn. They believe that the deposit will not be paid or there is a business interruption such as a failure of a computer or communication equipment. And it states that they will notify you of any of the above reasons and tell you when the funds will be made available, which is generally no later than the sixth business day after the day of the deposit. 
And for new customers, it states that you are generally considered a new customer during the initial 30 calendar days after you make your first deposit in your first account you open with us. You will not generally be considered a new customer, however, if you already have an account open with us at the time you open a new account. And it states for new customers depositing checks other than special checks, up to $225 will be available the next business day after the day of the deposit, and the remainder will be available on the sixth business day after the day of the deposit, unless an exception applies. All right, and back to to how you can make deposits. So going over those ways right there to transfer funds, direct deposit and sending a check. Another way you can deposit funds is you can send a domestic wire transfer from another bank. And it states you will need to provide the Goldman Sachs Bank USA routing transit number and your account number. And there's that routing transit number right there and the wire transfer address. And for those wire transfers stated that your money should arrive the same business day if the transaction is requested before 4 p.m. Eastern time. If there's an issue verifying an account or with a pin verification, it could take between one and three business days for your funds to arrive in the external account. And for wire transfers, also it states that at this time, they're only able to send a wire transfer request to an account that you own at another bank. And it states that we are not able to send or make payments to a third party. Wire transfers requested online may only be sent to your previously linked external account. And they state that third party wire transfers are coming soon. And it states that for wire availability of wire transfer deposits, funds from wire transfers to your account that you initiate through another bank will be available on the business day they receive the deposit. And they state that we will use our reasonable efforts to contact you if any payment order for a wire transfer is rejected, if there is a delay or none credit of an incoming wire transfer, and that they will not be liable or compensate lost interest for failure to give such notice. And for wire transfers, it also states that they may place limits on the amount of funds transferred based on total dollar amount or frequency and that they will disclose any wire transfer limits to you when you schedule your wire transfer and that the account at the external bank that we are sending wire transfers to must be owned by you and must be an account at a bank located in the United States, specify United States territories or United States jurisdictions. And for the limits with the accounts, it states that each deposit account owner is limited to a maximum balance of $3 million across all deposit accounts and online savings accounts and CDs are limited to a maximum balance of $1 million per account. So there is a limit actually on the balance of the online savings account of $1 million. So that's the most you can have in the account right there and for the limitation of the account right there it includes the principal amount of the account but does not include interest earned and credited but not withdrawn and it states that in the event that the account balance exceeds the acceptable maximum aggregate limits by greater than or equal to a thousand five hundred dollars or such lesser amount as they determine at their sole discretion, the deposit account owner authorizes us to return the full excess deposit balances to the account owner. And for the limits of ACH and wire transfers right there, they have the request by amount right there today for same business day processing. The ACH transfer has to be by 6 p.m. Eastern time, wire transfer by 4 p.m. Eastern time. And processing time for ACH transfers, you know, for those linked external accounts is one to three business days. And for wire transfers, it's typically within one hour when requested online. And the transfer type for the ACH transfer is incoming or outgoing. And the wire transfer, that's for the outgoing only right there. That's what this applies to right here. And the fee from Marcus, there is no fee for ACH transfers or wire transfers. So there's no fee from Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And the fee from the external bank, typically there's no fee for an external bank with ACH transfers, but check with the external bank just to make sure. And for wire transfers, there's a possibility that the external bank will charge you a fee on that. So you wanna check with that. Marcus by Goldman Sachs, not gonna charge you a fee on either one but there may be a fee from the external bank that you're dealing with. So, you know, whether it be, you know, Bank of America or Ally, or SoFi, anything like that, you want to check with that account, that bank to see if they're going to charge you a fee on their end. And as far as the amount limit, there's $125,000 per outgoing transfer initiated at Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And to transfer more, they state to give them a call. And for the wire transfer limit, there's up to $50,000 per statement period for outgoing wires initiated at Marcus.com at their website. And to send more, they say give us a call. So they have those limits in place right there, but they do have an option where if you need to do more than that, they just say give them a call. And with this account, there is no minimum balance, like I stated before, required for the online savings account. However, if you don't maintain a positive balance for 60 days, they may close your account. So it's just something to keep in mind if you have a negative amount, you know, account balance in this um, account for, you know, at least 60 days, they may just close your account right there.
and we talked about depositing money and transferring money let's talk a little bit more about withdrawing money and i'll show you on here on the screen as well of course and they state there are several ways you can withdraw money from your market's online savings account right now at the top right here you got the first way ach transfer initiated by us with a linked external account so same way you know is transferring money depositing money into the account you can withdraw that way as well by transferring money from your market's online savings account to another linked external account and it states that you may withdraw funds from your online savings account subject to certain transfer limits by logging in at markets.com or in the app website or by calling them to initiate the ACH transfer into a linked account at an external bank it states that do, they do not accept requests to initiate ACH transfers through email secure message or mail and markets will process transfers of hundred thousand dollars or less made through markets by 12 p.m eastern time on a business day and by 5 p.m eastern time that day check with your external bank regarding availability of funds sent by markets so you have to check with them just in case something may be different on their end as far as like when you're going to get the money over there basically when you withdraw from markets by goldman sachs as far as like when it will show up at that external account and another way you can withdraw money from your markets online savings account is through the ach transfer initiated by an external bank or through a third party and so you may withdraw funds from your markets deposit account by having an external bank directly or through a third party initiate an ach transfer from your markets deposit account so instead of you know you going through the markets app you know or on the website and initiating through them you can do it that way of course or through your other bank account you know whatever bank that is you can have the information you know your account numbers and things with them for your markets online savings account and initiate it over there at that bank and it will still go through you know markets will get the information and verify it and everything and it will take the funds from your markets online savings account and transfer them to that other bank account that you initiate the transfer with and another way you can withdraw money is through a wire transfer so you can, of course you can deposit money with a wire transfer or withdraw it with a wire transfer so you may withdraw funds from your online savings account by initiating initiating a wire transfer to an account you own at an external bank and it just states that you'll need to provide us you know markets by goldman sachs with the routing transit number wire transfer address and your account number at your external bank and it states that keep in mind that while markets doesn't charge any fees for wire transfers your external financial institution may charge a fee for wire transfers and another way to withdraw money from your account is that you can request a check. And so it states if you like to request a withdrawal by check and say, please give us a call. And it states that we will send a check payable to the account owner only to the primary address associated with your account. So you can get a physical check sent to you right there for withdrawal purposes. If you want to, you just have to give them a call to start that process and initiate that. And as far as limits on how many times you can make withdrawals from a market's online savings accounts. And so it states due to a change in federal law, you are now free to make more than six withdrawals or transfers from your online savings account in a monthly statement period. At this time, there is no limit to the number of withdrawals or transfers you can make. And so with the market's online savings account, there's no limit on how many withdrawals or transfers you can make to and from that account. And also you can set up reoccurring and scheduled transfers to and from your markets by goldman sachs online saves account it just states that log into your account and select the frequency and timing of your deposits and you're on your way and as far as transferring funds from your markets online savings account internationally it says nope at this time we do not transfer funds internationally you may only transfer funds to banks located in the united states in certain u.s territories u.s virgin islands and america samoa or in on a u.s military base or diplomatic facility and that's a lot of information right there on the deposits and withdrawals for the online savings account with markets by goldman sachs as well as fees and limits as you see there's not a lot of fees associated with this account and the limits are pretty on the higher end as far as when it comes to transfers and account balances and things like that and one thing you may notice with this account when i didn't speak of at all is an atm card or a debit card or anything like that this account right here does not have an atm card so there is no way to you know basically get physical cash from this account via an atm which means also there's no fees associated with you know going to an out of network atm or anything like that because you know there's no atm card with this account so that is one thing to keep in mind if you're somebody that likes that right there because some savings accounts don't have an atm card or a physical card link with them where you could do that and some do so you know that's just something to keep in mind if that's important to you you. currently at this time the markets by goldman sachs online savings account does not have a physical atm card or any way to you know obtain physical cash from the account right there or deposit physical cash but there is a way you can kind of get around that and do that for example if you wanted to deposit cash in this markets by goldman sachs online savings account one way you could probably do that basically is that you could you know deposit the cash 
to if you have another bank account, you know, with an ATM card or a debit card, you could deposit the cash into that account and then do a transfer, you know, from that account to this account by Marcus by Goldman Sachs. So and it also works the way other way with withdrawing, you know, cash. If you have another bank account, you know, with an ATM card or a debit card or something, you could transfer your funds from this Marcus online savings account to that account and then, you know, use your card or whatnot, your ATM card or however to get the cash from that account. So, you know, it's more steps. Basically, there is a way to get around that if you have an external bank account, another kind of bank account linked to this account that you could do that through. But however, with just this Marcus online savings account, there's no way to do that as far as depositing physical cash or withdrawing physical cash. All right, now let's get on to the eligibility and what's required to open this account. There's not a lot to this, so it's going to be a really short section right here. All right, so account opening. It states that you can open Open and maintain an account if you're at least 18 years old, have a social security number or individual taxpayer identification number, and have a street address in the United States, the territories of Puerto Rico, United States Virgin Islands, or American Samoa, or a U.S. military base or U.S. embassy. And it states that you cannot use a post office box other than on a U.S. military base or at a diplomatic post office to open or maintain an account. And it states that we only offer accounts to natural persons. Accounts may only be used for personal, family or household purposes and cannot be open or maintained for business purposes. Accounts may not be open in the name of a trust or other legal entity or by a fiduciary, an executor, conservator, guardians, trustees, anything like that. If a fiduciary is appointed, we may allow the fiduciary to access an account subject to the fiduciary verified rights. We are not required to grant access to or make payments from an account to a fiduciary if we have actual knowledge of or otherwise belief in a good faith that there may be a bona fide dispute concerning rights to an account or two, we are uncertain as to who is entitled to the account access or account funds. And so also other information about verification when opening the account, it states that we are required to obtain, verify, and record information that identifies each account owner. This means that when you apply to open an account or add it as an account owner to an existing account, we may ask for your name, address, date of birth, social security number, or individual taxpayer identification number, and other information that allows us to identify you. And it states signature cards. All account owners are required to complete a signature card when opening an account. Depending on how you open an account, you may complete a signature card on our website or you may complete a paper signature card that we will mail to you and that you will need to mail back to us. If you do not complete a signature card and return it to us within a specified period of time, in our sole discretion, we may elect to close your account. So that signature card is basically just something for you to sign. You, know, you can do that electronically or they have the physical paper version of that right there. So when it says signature cards, it's not talking about something kind of like debit card or something like that that's basically about you know verification of your signature right there and of course how accounts can be open you can have an individual account just owned by one person you can have a joint account that is owned by two or more people and each account owner has access to the joint account and may take any action or initiate any transaction or close the account and also you can have a payable on death designation so you can add beneficiaries to this account up to six beneficiaries can be added to this account to receive the funds upon the death of an individual account or the death of the last surviving account owner on a joint account. And it states that if there is more than one beneficiary, they will be paid in equal shares. It's by Goldman Sachs app because that is one of the most important features of an online savings account is the mobile app. Because that's how a lot of people, including myself, how they access the account. For the most part, like 90 something percent of the time when I'm accessing my online savings account or checking account is through the app. Every now and then, sometimes I access it online through the website, you know, desktop version of the account. But typically that mobile app is the main go to, you know, to check your account, make transfers, different things like that so yeah they do have an app available on the apple app store and the google play app store right here so let's just take a more look at that they got a video of it on their website right there and states that you can money with our app and so you can stay connected to all your markets accounts check balances schedule transfers to and from other banks and make loan payments and they got, you know, progress towards your financial goals. So they have those, you know, insights tools right there. They call them Marcus Insights, where you can, you know, track your goals and see, you know, set up goals and things like that as far as your savings. And also for security, it states that you can log in quickly and securely with fingerprint or facial recognition. It states that they use strong encryption and multi-factor authentication to protect your data and that they never see usernames or passwords for external linked accounts. And this is the Marcus Insights I was talking about right there. So helping you optimize your money, you can link external accounts to see 
you're saving, investing and spending all in one place. So you can have it where even, you know, for accounts that you don't have in markets by Goldman Sachs, you know, you can link external accounts to get that information pulled over to this app right here to kind of look at it all together. As you see right there as an example, they have the Chase, you know, JP Morgan account right there with their markets account, the Vanguard investing account, Charles Schwab account right there. So you can see your account balances and information right there in the app. And also it states that they have smart tools and trackers can help you see your money clearly and make strategic decisions. And the more accounts you link, the better your insights right there. So they have that information right there. And of course, they have the in-app alerts and notifications, easy access to customer support within the app. And they also have it where you can review statements, tax and loan documents and more right there. And within the app, you can also set up those, you know, reoccurring deposits right there. Review recent transactions and track your transfers. You can see how much interest you've earned throughout the year right there. Some nice little graphs and everything. And with the Marcus Insights right here, you can also see your spending. So you can see how much you've saved, spent and invested in whatever's left over this month. So they that you can discover how you spend across categories, including dining and drinks and home, you know, entertainment, things like that. You see how you've been spending. And it states that you can follow how much you've spent with your most frequent merchants. And they state that that feature is only available on iOS. So only on the Apple app right there. And of course the app is free. Not gonna cost you anything to download the app, to use the app or anything like that. And as far as linking an account to that Marcus Insights, you know, to pull that information over right there, it states that with Marcus Insights, thousands of institutions are available to link. When attempting to link, type the name of your financial institution. Once you see your financial institution, try linking it with the same credentials you use to log in at their website. So you can use your login and password to link that account to your Marcus by Goldman Sachs account right there. But as it stated in the security, Marcus by Goldman Sachs will not see your username, password, anything like that. And they state that if your institution is not supported, like you can't add them on that Marcus Insights right there, they state that you'll see the option to type in your institution name and send it to them. So they can use the information to improve the product, you know, try to get that, you know, connection going right there. Oh, well, now I'm actually over on the app, on the Apple App Store. I wanna check out some of the reviews and talk about them and show them to you here on the video. So right now on this app right there, as you see, 156,000 and ratings right there with the average 4.8 review of the star ratings right there and with an average of 4.8 in the star rating so you got the screenshots right there your finances all in one place you see how the app looks right there pretty much how it looked right there on the website right there it got that kind of same color scheme going on really neat clean looking app for sure right there and let's go down to some of these reviews here so we'll just go at the top right here, you see a five star good app, touch ID, face ID issues right there. It's the only issue they're stating on that review, five stars. So let's see how this goes, five star app right there. All right, another five star. Oh, I'm just holding down on the screen too much, made that come up. So yeah, five star reviews right there. This says no app support on that one right there. So and they have developer response. So they've been responding to these reviews on the Apple App Store right here. Great bank, but let's see. It's a great bank and great app. However, the checking account, which is the last thing that I've been solidly waiting on, they don't have a checking account currently. So they say this, it keeps getting delayed. So yeah, they don't have a checking account with Marcus by Goldman Sachs currently. Not a fan right there. One star review right there. Needs more security controls. Two star right there. They are the best. Five star review. Four star review. Stay away. One star review. So you got a range of reviews right there. But as you see, most of the reviews are five stars and then four stars after that. We'll go to most recent on here. Let's see, all right, five-star review, great app. And a one-star, app kept crashing. And a three-star, malfunctioning consistently. And then a one-star, and it's because of the checking account. You don't have a checking account right there. Five-star, revised review, so the issue corrected, user error, they stated. One-star, face ID. Another one star, one star, four stars. So yeah, definitely a lot of reviews and ratings on the app right there. Mostly positive. Of course, you do have some with issues right there. So, you know, definitely check that out if you're more interested in what they have to say, you know, with the ratings and reviews and the responses right there. So yeah, that is the mobile app look of it, how it looks, some of the rate ratings and the reviews. Now let's go over to some information about Goldman Sachs and Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And of course, Marcus by Goldman Sachs is a brand of Goldman Sachs that was launched in 2016 and they offer a savings account and multiple term CDs. They did offer lending products as well, but I'll go into some of the news articles and tell you about what happened with that basically. And Goldman Sachs was founded in 1869 in New York, New York, where their headquarters still remains. And of course, on the website right here, they got it stating that Marcus combines Goldman Sachs 150 plus years of expertise and excellence with intuitive digital experiences to keep pace with our customers ambitions now and in the future. 
And of course, they have their core benefits, you know, right there. Some of the things that they believe in, you know, what they want to let you know that they're focused on right there. And they have some recognitions right here. So best of awards in 2022 by Wallet, best savings account, best bank or credit union for CDs and best personal loan from a bank. So they have some rewards right there in recognitions. And so, yeah, with Goldman Sachs, of course, like you stated, Goldman Sachs has been around for a long time. One of the, you know, largest banks in the United States. And they're also, you know, partner with Apple with that online savings account that Apple has, that high yield savings account. That's who is basically behind that account. So, yes, through Apple, you sign up through Apple and everything. If you have the Apple card, I have a video on that account. If you want more information on that, definitely check out that video on my channel. I'll leave a link down in the description right there. But yeah, so Mark Goldman Sachs is pretty much who's behind that. That's where the, you know, the FDIC assurance comes from and things like that. So they have that account, which currently that account is separate from this Marcus by Goldman Sachs online account right there. And last year, Goldman Sachs started pretty much talking about and initiating splitting markets by Goldman Sachs and doing away with parts of it, but not initially everything. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, wow, they're getting rid of the savings account because that account has been featured on my you know top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY before. And so I saw this. I was like, oh, no, what's going on? But it's certain parts of it. They're getting away from the consumer section of the markets by Goldman Sachs somewhat because it was losing them money. So, yeah, as you see on this article right here, it says they have plans to fold its expenses expanded asset management and private wealth businesses into one unit, a reshuffle which will mark the investments bank's third major reorganization in four years right there. And they state as a part of the reorganization, Goldman Sachs retail banking platform, Marcus, since it's Marcus by Goldman Sachs, will be divided into two groups and the platform's consumer focused operations will fall under Goldman's asset and wealth management unit and a subset of Marcus businesses that deal with corporate clients will become a standalone entity called Platform Solutions. So they states that the overhaul comes from amid reports that the bank aims to scale back its ambitions for markets amid mounting losses and growing skepticism over the performance of the consumer focused platform. So you see another article right here. Goldman Sachs signals partial retreat from consumer banking. Goldman Sachs spent eight years attempting to expand its business beyond corporations and the wealthy. Markets by Goldman Sachs was their way of getting in, you know, to like, you know, middle class and lower class, upper middle class, you know, different, you know, subsets of the population that typically they didn't really do a lot of business with and things, you know, beyond the corporations and the wealthy. So, but with this, you know, section they've had they, right here, they state that, you know, the bank disclosed that they had accumulated $3 billion in losses in its consumer banking franchise since 2020, mostly money set aside to cover potential loan losses in the market's personal loan business. Bank regulators are reportedly looking into whether the consumer business had proper safeguards in place as it grew larger. So that's where they were incurring their losses and things. That is that, that personal loan section of the markets by Goldman Sachs. So that's pretty much what they're getting away from right there. So it states that they've scraped the plans for their checking account and pretty much got rid of their personal loan business. So as you see right there, they did have plans for a checking account, but they pretty much gotten rid of that. And so the only thing that remains right there, they state, is the savings account and the credit card business has survived for now. And they have this CD certificate deposit accounts as well, which can be looped in to start a deposit accounts. But right here it just says savings account, but they still have the CDs going as well. And it states right here again, the online savings account is not going away and is considered an asset by the firm, Solomon told investors. They says the firm now holds more than $100 billion in retail deposits, which is a cheap form of capital for the investment bank that historically hasn't had access to such forms of financing. Because when banks have these deposits, you know, they use that money to, you know, fund other loans and make money from your money, basically. So this is an easy way for them to have access to funds. They don't have to go out and get funds elsewhere that may cost them more money as far as like interest rates and things. They just have, you know, your deposits and they can use that. So that's where you see where it says a cheap form of capital because it's just capital coming in. You know, people deposit money and it's capital that the bank uses so they can use your money to make more money. Seems like they're definitely keeping the savings account because that's one reason, you know, to keep the account right there. And they haven't formed a lot of losses like they did with the personal loan business of the Marcus by Goldman Sachs. All right. And then just another article right there. Goldman's bids farewell to the consumer banking push. So when they state this, you know, it's not com completely their whole consumer banking push. It's just parts of it right there. Like I stated, the savings account and the certificate deposit accounts with Marcus by Goldman Sachs are still ongoing. As of now, I haven't seen any articles or anything hinting or talking about them getting rid of those accounts. So that is still going with the Marcus by Goldman Sachs. But I did want to mention some of the you know issues and things that they've shut down and plans that they've counseled with the Marcus by Goldman Sachs accounts because 
you know, that's something to consider. You know, you open an account, you're wondering about what's going on, or if you've seen like parts of the headlines or articles or something like that. So, yeah, those are some of the information about markets by Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs itself, and also what's going on with the markets by Goldman Sachs accounts in the news and the articles from this year and last year. All right, now that is it with my video on the Marcus by Goldman Sachs online savings account. Hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.